There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. It's Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Well, nah, y'all can hear all the AKAs right about now. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Also, I forgot one, a.k.a. Swagger Point, my fault, Swagger 3.0 Reloaded. And I'm here to give y'all a video about the fallacy of how people are blaming white supremacy for black and black crime. Man up, motherfuckers. Now, I hear people on YouTube, and someone wanted me to do a video about this, so I said I will. But if you want me, inbox me, go to all the networks I'm on, get me on Google Plus especially, I'm rotating heavy over there. You know, I see people blaming white supremacy and racist laws on black and black crime. Now, this is what they, what you would call victimhood escapism. This is how they justify black on black crime. See, they're not giving you a solution how to solve black on black crime. They're justifying it and they're giving you a victimhood escapism as far as, well, it's not our fault, it's somebody else's fault. You ask them, how do you do this? You say, well, it's not our fault, it's their fault. And that's not an excuse and that's not how you solve it. You know, now the latest excuse for black on black crime is from what I'm here is white supremacy. No, I'm not going to even say some of the things people have said. You can, it's, it's just usual, it's the reverse white race baiting. If you want to, it's like if the Klan says something and you know it's not true, these are how these little, these are how these tough guys are operating. They're doing the same thing except for black people. Now, the reason for black on black crime is is because there's the predatory nature of certain people. It's everywhere. It's no matter what race you are, there's predatory people. The fact of the matter is, is, is that we're such a we're a small group and there's such a large numbers and the numbers aren't aren't, aren't, aren't adding up. It's like there it's, it's how it is. You go to any neighborhood in a big city in America, and that's how it is. And it's not just us. I know that. I know it's the barrios. I know if you go to the trailer park, there's a lot of undocumented crime. But I know it's mostly concentrated on black and Hispanics. I know that. But the fact of the matter is, you cannot use a justification of white supremacy as the main factor of black on black crime. It's the nature of human beings. It's the nature of, well, you think that somebody's weaker or softer, so you're going to go after them. But let me, face it, let me, let me put it like this. You don't go to the suburbs and play around with that. You want to know why? And you can easily, you're freely, you can freely travel. There's no one stopping you. You can take a bus to the suburb. You take a taxi, rent a car, drive there, and pull your bullshit out there. You know what's going to happen? You'll get X'd out. They ain't going to, they don't, they don't play that like that in certain parts. Like if you're in the hood, we all know people aren't going to snitch. People aren't going to do this. People aren't going to do that because there's, there's a certain fear. And it's, it, it's real. But at the end of the proverbial day, there is no way that after so long that white supremacy has anything to do with black and black crime cause they can stop any minute. It's what it is, it's the victim it's the victimhood. It's oh no, it's the white man or whatever they say. You know. Blaming white folks, even the crooks will drop won't 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 stop nothing. Well it'll stop something if you get out there and actively participate in the problem to find a solution. You know, I'm guilty of mistrusting people all the time. I'm even guilty of mistrusting police. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't trust them like that. But at the same time, you can't get mad when they come in and storm in the hood and saying, well, they're, they're shooting young boys when young boys are shooting at them. So this has, there's a disconnect somewhere. I think there's a lot of black males need to step up and mentor some kids, talk to some kids, just go out there. You don't have to be their dad or their uncle. You can just go out there and talk to them. See a bunch of kids hanging out. I know I've done it before. I snatch kids up and it's no problem. No, it's, it's what it is. Is a lot of you guys don't have respect because a lot of you guys played yourself out. A lot of you played their mamas out. I mean, their mamas have a role in this too, but a lot of you guys aren't doing nothing. You know, you, you got you know, if you leave the innocents alone, I have no problem. When you start messing with the innocents, that's when me and mines we get involved. So blame on black on black crime on white supremacy. It's not what it is. The result of predators preying on the victims they know they can get away with preying on. Because it's like this. If you know somebody just has the equal amount of whatever you have, you're less likely to go after that person. But if you know somebody's weaker and you know they're, they're open for the right for pickings, that's where you're going to go. Everybody goes to the weakest link. You go. That's it, how it is. So 
That's how the video goes. I'm out. If you got a problem, that's your problem, because over here is facts. If you ain't fucking with facts, well, you ain't fucking with this. So, I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.